Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Material U. A couple of years back, we saw the revolution of Google Design, which we lovingly called Material Design, but it has changed completely. Yesterday at Google I/O, Sundar Pichai was so proud of the new design, and I'm happy about it too. They're calling it Material U, designed for you. So let's quickly look at what are the brand new changes. What are the things I like? What are the things that I don't like from a UX designer's or a UI designer's perspective? Also, did you guys know I have an Instagram now? I'm posting a lot of cool content there. Like, go check out my Instagram. It's Puneet Chawla official. I know you'll find it. The first thing that has always been on the checklist is colors, but Material U brings a whole new definition to colors. This time they're going for a more contrasting complementary color set for their primary colors and they're using more of a split complementary with the secondary colors or even a monochromatic color. To some people it might seem tacky, but to me I think it'll grow on a lot. Rounded corners are everywhere. We saw this with Samsung I think last year with their new One UI where everything was rounded according to their phones. Now Google is following suit and it's taking the same approach. You see a lot of rounded corners not just somewhat rounded completely rounded according to your device type it also brings a lot of circular elements a lot of elements which were either just squares or rectangles are now either circles or they've been rounded completely i like this approach a lot because i have a phone with rounded edges on it and all google phones are rounded edges so for that purpose this fits perfectly and i also love how experimental this looks this doesn't look like a final design but it actually is they're going with the round edges and i love the fun aspect of it this time they're calling their designs alive and adaptive alive because everything is now animated you'll see a lot of transformation animations as you can see this text goes from thin to thick as soon as you unlock your device there's also a lot of shape shifting going on a lot of expanding contracting and if you look close enough with material u you'll see these little pixels or stars whenever you press something there's going to be an animation if you hold on to something there's going to be a different animation and you know my channel is all about animations and ui and this is what i'm obsessed with i'm going to take out a tutorial where i showcase such live active animations i'm really digging this what material design has fewer shadows this time if you saw the earlier documentary where they showcased the entire material design spectrum you saw that there was a lot of shadows and light being used and it made sense because that is what they were going for they were going for the depth in it this time around i am happy to say that they've balanced it out with a lot of flat design elements here and there as well what they're compensating it with is actual live textures moving parts different shapes and really giving that distinction and contrast between different elements this time around they don't need the shadows for the contrast they're using colors they're using shapes etc material design finally has actual material not just flat colors they also have those little noise elements little dots here and there to make it look as if it's an actual material in the physical world shapes shapes more shapes designers at google how many shapes do we give Google yes the trends that we had in UI design in 2020 or 2021 are seeping slowly into this element as well rounded flower shapes weird rectangles ovular shapes which make no sense but they're so beautiful to look at and a lot of diagonal shapes i like the direction they're going in get it i mean look at these widgets you see in the background they're crazy nothing is just a circle or a rectangle or an oval everything has some variation to it and that is how they're separating it from the usual card elements they want the widgets to stand out and i'm kind of in love with it i don't know about you guys yeah 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 there's a lot of argument that this might not be a very good choice if you're making a website or an application you can't incorporate such shapes everywhere but think about it for a second if you use such unique shapes and google is pioneering it you're going to have a good time to be on one size fits all is a principle that we've been using for decades now responsive design is something that came long time back but google is taking it to another level now it wants each and every element to fit into each and every device it could be a phone it could be a watch it could be your tv it could be your laptop wherever you see material design it will look similar 
in case where there are same cards, same buttons, same sliders, but appeared and displayed in certain ways that it makes sense for different devices. So for example, there'll be fewer elements on a phone and more elements on your TV or on your Android Auto. This little animation showcases how things will adapt to each device size and how it will look on different devices. Okay, everything is now bigger for some reason. We already saw elements which had a lot of padding, white space, that is important to us. But when we look at designs like this, it makes us question, how much padding is gonna be enough for you guys? This plus icon is small, but the button around it is so big. It's not negative. I think they're going for a very one-handed appeal. You use your device with one finger or one hand, and that is what they want you guys to achieve with this design. It, they want everything to be very distinct, very in your face. So if you're clicking on something, this is more of a user experience change than a UI change. UI change with a big or small button doesn't make a lot of sense. But with the one-handed usage and devices getting larger, this could be an interesting move. Also, there is a shift from just being slightly customizable to being completely personalized, completely customizable. Now Google is gonna allow you on various devices and I'm sure on various screen sizes to be able to not only shift from dark mode to light mode and vice versa, but to also change the theme, the icons, the colors, everything will now be in the user's hands. Last but not the least, accessibility. Accessibility is a big deal for Google. Since millions of people are using Google devices, this seems like a very good move on Google's part. Now, I have a few questions from Google and the audience. If you have answers to this, if you have opinions on this, let me know in the comments. The first question that I've written out is, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is an appealing update? Would you like to have it on your phone? Do you think it'll look good on websites, applications, etc.? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. I hope you like this video. I post such videos every Monday and Thursday. This is uh, an off schedule video. I hope you appreciate it. Like this video to support the channel. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for videos every Monday and Thursday. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to see you next time. Same place, same time. Till then, God bless.